by an adipose. Let's get rid of him as well. Hello! Here I am, and there you are, and here we all together, looking at me, me looking at you, looking at me, looking at you, quite frankly. Lovely to see so many of you here today to enjoy a spot of The Simpsons um, tapped out with me. And obviously, because we are now um, live, it is time for the vault to open, which means you are now all earning Addy Gold at a rate of one gold every five minutes. Um, Addy Gold will be used for our raffle a bit later on, and it gets used for giveaways, and you can colour your nickname, and you can buy yourself a logo. In fact, if you have a look, a look at the chat down below me there, you'll see there are some uberly cool people um, that already have little logos and colours, and you can buy that with your, um, your Addy Gold and stuff as well. Welcome. Okay, so we've got loads to get through today. Uh, we uh, It'll be a bit of a rushed show, but that's okay. It's action-packed content. I remember when a half an hour show it seemed like long, and now it's an hour show, and it seems really short. We have got... Let's have a little think. Um, we have got... We're going to be talking about trains. We didn't finish trains last week, and there were some awesome trains designs that I was absolutely desperate to show you, and I didn't quite get around to it, which was devastating. So we've got to finish off the trains, and in fact, I've actually had some new trains designs submitted since then, so we're going to have have extra extra trains um, going in oh and a new follower thank you very much you see turning up late you still get the followers thank you sir um, and uh, then we're gonna we have some Valentine's Day uh, results it's the the big show-off competition over on uh, tapped out topics which is organized by Nathan Rushton who I assume is with us today yes he is hello Nathan how you doing um, and we've got the winners of that competition which I'm gonna be sharing with you then we're gonna be talking a little bit about the noise land Arcade. Uh, the Noiseland Arcade is a cool little building uh, down here, uh, which is obviously you know, where you play your video games and stuff. And I've found some cool little creative designs um, for that. We've also, of course, got to show off at least one of your towns. We'll be having um, another raffle um, uh, where you, you can show your show off your town at the end of the show. And and. Stick around, because I've got some news that you just might be interested in in regards to um, donuts coming your way. Mm -hmm. Mysterious and mysterious, curiouser and curiouser. If you would be interested in donuts, then stick around and I'll give you some news up on that probably about halfway um, through the show. Greetings to all of my lovely little members of the Fat Cell. Um, we've got loads of people in here. We've got 94, which I think is the highest yet at the beginning of a show. Um, greetings to my lovely, lovely mods. I assume that we have in the house Spellcaster, M, and Laura. Um, if you've got any questions, guys, that I don't answer, um, check out what the mods are saying, because they will try and answer them for you. Rules of the chat, as always, are respect each other and uh, please no spamming or massive capital letters or um, you know the, the usual stuff if, if there's something in the back of your head that goes I probably shouldn't do this then the answer is that you probably shouldn't all right and if the mods ask you to do anything or to stop doing something then please um, obey them in which unless it's breathing in which case you should probably speak to me although if you're kind of obeying that thing at the time then it might be kind of go along the lines of <laughs> should I stop breathing and stuff right so let's go and have a look at some some trains, shall we? Now, why did we get so excited about trains last week? Well, it was because um, some of you lovely, lovely, jubbly, creative people um, started showing me some amazingly good designs in in using the love train. Do you remember that that spinny Valentine's wheel of rubbishiness? In fact, have I got have I got any spins today? I haven't actually had a look. I have, I have to confess, I have been playing lots of other things this week, and I haven't actually seen if I have any um, spins this week, so let's check it out. But hope, but loads and loads of you have got yourself a lovely... Um, oh, here we go, we have got a spin. From this little wheel here, loads of you got yourself that little train there, just on the left. Um, and despite it being kind of a decoration, um, it's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. Um, it it, it um, works as a train. If you use the right decorations... Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, cool town, says Joe Plays Game. The Simpsons. Um, thank you very much. Um, uh, if, you, if you give it the right decorations, it actually looks like a proper train. Let's have a little spin to see what else we can win while we're here. And some of the very creative ones amongst you, as you hopefully you remember from last week, turned this little love train decoration into a full-on... I've got so many of them. I'm so sick of those little Valentine's balloons. But when am I going to use Valentine's balloons outside of Valentine's Day? I mean, really... 
come on um turned it into a full-on um train line and you're as you're about to see some of the people have actually turned it into a full-on train network and yes Kay, i did finish the wheel like i couldn't be bothered with it anymore it's so irritating that wheel and so i actually um I think I bought the 15 pack of spins and I just blitzed the whole thing and luckily I got them um, before I ran out of spins so that was great. Now the one that really inspired us last week if you remember was in Pinio Henio um, and this was the last one I showed right at the end of last week that really made I think a lot of you really step back and go wow this is possible with um, a train line. Do you remember this one? Do you remember this one boys and girls? Um, it was the one that stretched all the way down from the very bottom of the track all the way up to the very top of the track. Do you remember this one? It had that lovely level crossing in the middle that loads of us kind of went, ooh, that's a good idea. And the track looked great, and we had these um, whacking day um, uh, uh, decorations used as the carriage. We had this possible train station here, and then we had this... Um, lovely tunnel using the, the ghoul thing um, although I did actually have a complaint I had someone complain saying oh yes the, the ghoul tunnel, so, someone commented on YouTube was like oh yes the ghoul tunnel is far too scary to ever be in someone's town outside of Halloween um, but don't worry I ignored everything they said, I think that design is awesome but this was the one that inspired us and other people have been inspired um, by this as well, so let's go and have a look at some uh, let's go and have some more, look at some more trains, I remember, I, I, obviously if you weren't here there for that that opinion year one last week go and have a look at the video over on YouTube because it's worth looking at, to have a look in detail, there is tons of good stuff there, um, that was just literally just our, um, our quick reminder, um, let me show you the one that I wanted to show you last week which I wasn't able to do at the time, because we ran out of time, because we it's so much to talk about, which is Tahito. Tahito. Um, now, Tahito, um, I think, has about three or four different accounts and um, has different designs. Uh, has, has different designs in all of his different towns, but he um, he or she, sorry, apologies, I don't know, um, had a brilliant train design that I wasn't able to show off last week, which was a real shame because it was brilliant. Now, one of the things I mentioned last week is the possibility of, if you're redesigning your whole town, to put that rail network kind of throughout your... Um, town you know not just having the road network going around but having a rail network going around and this was the closest that I actually saw um, someone um, coming to here we go so let's have a look this is where the uh, the train line starts um, over in uh, Tahiti oh and a new follower thank you very much indeed and uh, we've got the use of the dust carts as the um, the the carriages the other alternative I've seen used is the um, the nuclear bunkers I saw someone use the nuclear oh hello <laughs> Mr. Bean is Mr. Small Bean is behind me. Hope you enjoy looking at my cat today. I'm sure he'll he'll wash himself at some point. Um, the other one I saw is the the nuclear bunkers, the little metal bunkers used as the carriages, and that worked really nicely for a kind of freight train. And then look at this. Have a look at this rail network. It goes down here. Has a little break where people can get across. Interesting variation on the level crossing ideas there using the um, the Valentine's flowers. Train going round a corner. Very nice. Very nice. Down we come, and look at this. I just I, I'm, I, I talked the other day about zigzags. So a few, I think it was a few um, few streams ago now. I talked about road networks with zigzags, and I talked about how it kind of makes it look kind of more, I know, kind of realistic and gritty. And look, this rail network zigzags as well, and I think it looks cool. And it comes on down. We've got another train there. We've got another little level crossing, and of course a passing point because any old old fashioned rail work network needs a passing point. So these um, um so these uh, little uh, trucks can get past. And you come on down, and then of course we've got a train coming the other way but that's fine because we've got a passing point so it doesn't matter and it kind of comes on round and it comes on round we've got another little train and then we kind of reach the end with the other wall as well but what I loved about this one was it wasn't just top to bottom or just left to right it actually kind of had a network do you know what I mean this is going in and out of various things you know it's going around the park it's zigzagging actually into the town and across the town itself um, really really um, nice ideas and giving over quite a bit of space to this rail network and obviously you've got to choose your own priorities when it comes to a, uh, a town about what, what, how you're going to build up uh, buildings and things like that but um, I think it's a good one I think it's a real good one if you guys would like to give it a um, if you guys want to um, give it a, a rating out of 10 you're obviously you're more than welcome I think Tahito is here tonight indeed so allow me to uh, Allow me to chuck you some um, some some bonus gold for being featured, my friend. And um, you know, if you want to give it some rankings and tell me what you think, that would be great. Now, I'm just going to clear. I haven't I've seen if anyone's put any questions up um, on off to me yet, but I'm just going to clear the question list. So if any of you guys have any questions for me this evening, um, I can't promise to answer them all. In fact, I can guarantee that I won't answer them all. Um, but if you have anything you want to ask me. 
exclamation mark question space put your question and it will appear up on my screen in a slightly different place to the chat where I might be able to see it um, just a bit more obviously and I can actually put your question up on screen if I choose to answer it if it's if it's a boring question or I don't like the question or I've already answered the question many times um, then um, I won't answer it but you know if you've got something interesting to ask um, then go for it so for example um, Sky Skyfall TSTO has just asked a little question I can announce it up like that uh, what's the name of the cat I have answered that before but I can answer it again because it's a brand new show um, the black and white one we often call him pickle or, or small bean, depending on our mood, and the ginger one is called chips or Mr. Chips, according uh, to uh, <laughs> to some of you guys. Okay, so that was um, Ipenienos. Uh, sorry, Tahitos. Sorry, sorry, I mustn't get my my train lines confused. As like, but 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 but, my friends, I have more train lines to show you. And while I loaded it up, I shall step sips and drink. <sighs> so refreshing. Now we're going to go over to see. Someone that seems to be half robot and half bear. It's Cybear. Joe says, he, I hate all of the designs you show because I suck at designing. I'm not great at designing, Joe, but what I do is I look at all these designs and I, I get inspired by them and I carefully steal. And I'm carefully inspired by um, all the best bits. That's so cool. There's like a little, little never noticed this in um, Cybear. There's little changing rooms there for the. Um, I shouldn't have changed rooms. Little changing rooms for the uh, the school pool there. That's such a cool idea. Uh, right, where am I going? Where am I going? Center. I've so sort of written to myself. Ah, yes, this was the one. Now, Slybear wrote to me during the week, and please do write to me during the week on the various forums and things like that. If you've got something new, or if it's for the new design, there's always a nice little thread that M, put, M always puts up a little thread for me on the official Adipose TV page on the um, on tappedout.co.uk. But he, this guy wrote to me on, um, or Slybear wrote to me on the uh, Tapped Out forum to show and said, look, I've got a different type of train line um, that I would like to show you, not using the... Um, uh, the squid port rails and the squid port benches, but actually using the flowers. And he said, that, you know, I'm not necessarily saying it's the um, the best train, but I'm saying it's a really kind of interesting alternative. And he's right; it is a cool alternative. And what it does, um, it was he was saying, is it separates out um, his kind of like little fun zone, the duff zone, from the rest of his town. And it's got a little entertainment thing for the kids. You know, the adults come in and drink their beer and watch their. Um, and watch their uh, um, their soccer and their American football and their baseball and the kids have fun going around on the train and here it is different coloured dust carts going through a lovely little tunnel there going around the edge this slightly wider tracks this core time of course because the uh, the flowers offer a more wider possibility and the possibility of doing a corner as well which the um, the other ones um, didn't we've got a few kind of little crossing there perhaps a, a hint of a train station perhaps with all the benches there um, and then the train goes round again this one less of a kind of a transport train and more of perhaps a uh, uh, what would be the phrase like an entertainment train or less of course it's carrying the, the, the duff around but I thought it was really nice to have an alternative um, friends don't hit. oh <laughs> thank thank you Martin um, uh, to have oh that wasn't Martin was it that was um uh, Wig Wigger, Ralph w Ralph Wiggum, but yeah, I thought it was really nice, really nice to have an alternative um, possibility um, for the kind of the, the train design. So if that kind of gets you thinking, you know, or is there, are there other ways of um, putting together tracks and rails and um, and, uh, and 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 things like that um, as well? So pretty cool, pretty cool. So if you want to give some ratings for Cybear um, in the chat, um, feel free, or if you like the idea or the design, um, then go for it as well. I also like the way that he uses the barrier is here is to have because I think instead of the stations what he's got is, is entry and exit points so he uses the barriers here to kind of show where you can get on and off the train and I think this train here at the moment is in quotes stopped at the station uh, whereas the other ones are are kind of travelling around and here's another kind of um, entrance to the train but of course the train isn't there at the moment so it's nice it's nice it's, there's nice there's some good stuff um, in there I, I think all right uh, let's also get, answer another couple of questions for the chat while I'm loading up. Um, another one, uh, Lafrere has asked, uh, what did I think of Gill's New Deal? Um, to be honest, I didn't see it, because um, I already have some of the stuff that's already in it. Um, so it didn't... Uh, it didn't kind of come on my on, on my radar, to be honest. It was a... Uh, it was it was Doctor Nick and the Krusty Studios, and I kind of had them already. Uh, my thoughts on this, I've, I've kind of said it before, and I'll uh, I'll say it again. I just think the whole thing is overpriced in terms of donuts. I think there's some really really 
great things about Simpsons Tapped Out. The design. Uh, if you those guys, those of you that've been watching my channel during the week will know I've tried another two two other free to play games this week. I've tried um, Game of War. Um, if you want to see what happened, watch it. Watch it on my YouTube channel. And I tried Tiny Death Star. And both of those have that same idea of. Um, you know, you take some time to build something, and then you take that takes time to build something else, and then you have to get a currency, and you know it's the same build up as Simpsons Tapped Out. But what Simpsons Tapped Out does so much better is that you've got this idea of design and creativity and beauty and this kind of personalization of a town and unlocking things from your favorite show in it and getting characters that you know already in it, and you know there's some really really kind of great things in there. But I do think, and I have said this before, that Simpsons Tapped Out is overpriced. I think donuts are way too expensive, and whilst I might look at that deal that you is talking about there and say, it's a better deal, I'm still going to look at it and say, it's still too expensive. You're spending, what, £10 on a piece of, or on, on a tiny cartoon real estate that you can't send on or trade or something like that. So, sure, it's a, it's a, a better deal than what we've had already, but it's, it's still um, overpriced. All right. Um, boo, um... S boo I scared you how do I film your my gameplay um variety of things depending whether it's PC or not but this one is done through using an HD PVR which is the same way that uh, lots of people use their playstations and stuff now this is Mockaby's town now you should remember last week we showed off Mockaby's airport do you remember Mockaby's airport it was this cool little um, pumpkin inspired design with lots of characters standing on the runway ready to get um, chipper chopped um, so uh, but uh, Mockaby also during the week has finished off a little train line if we head down here now lots of people have been thinking about since the Christmas what can I do with the Christmas buildings when Christmas isn't around big big issue isn't it you know what do I do with Santa's sleigh what do I do with um, Claus Co what do I do with the ice rink now lots of people last week had used the ice rink as an aircraft hangar but of course it also works as a train hanger or uh, whatever you might call it a train hanger is the word but you know the place where the trains go now what Mockaby has done here is put together a few buildings um, to create the kind of illusion of a of a train star so for example um, here is here, this is the train station we've got the clock tower on the left um, which is the post office but it's now a train station because train train stations always have a clock on the front don't they with the hands going round and you know let you know what time the next train comes here and then the Springfield High School is then doubled up as the um, the new train station. Uh, Mockaby said that the although it is blatantly a school, she's already got a school, so why not use this building as something else? And with the big pillars, it does look like one of those kind of old-fashioned train stations, um, which which was quite cool. And um, and we've got this. Um, the stadium, I think it is, and then we've got the hangar, which is the place where the trains are stored. The train station, you know, when you often go to train stations, you get those big arched roofs. You know, you're walking out there. You know, once you get past the ticket office, you get into these big, big hangars um, where where the trains are when you get it. And then off we go. Off we go. And a new follower. Thank you very much, Chief Ralph Wiggum. And then right, off we go. Quite frankly, we go round. Here's the train. And look at this for a, a new usage of the train cart. We've got, I think it's the ice cream carts or, um, or or something like that. A lovely little level crossing um, design there using paths and stop signs going in. Um, double fences to, um, to keep all the little people safe. And the train line comes round again, weaving around and between buildings, which looks great. Another little level crossing there. Uh, it comes out then. And this time it comes out over the water. I mean, how cool is that? You often on it on a little train bridge, which of course you often get in real life. You know, trains and trains have their own bridges, and roads have their own bridges, and boats have their own bridges, and things things like that. <laughs> and um, you know, and off it comes. And the trains go along. Of course, they've got many, many trains on the track. And another little thing, nice little touch here. The trains are of different lengths as well. They're not all ridiculously long. Some are short, and then some are like these epic. Um, these, these these far more kind of epic designs there. And it comes in, and it it reaches this lovely um, crusty Lou Studios, which is clearly supposed to be the destination, uh, the destination point of the of the train. We've got this kind of um, usage of the. Um, uh, what's, the, what's the phrase? The the, the the climbing walls here to kind of round it off and kind of give the station a kind of um, a border friendly wail along the way. Let's give it a little flip. Whoop! There he goes. Um, uh, to kind of um, uh, to to round off the station design. But a re again, a really nice, big, dramatic. Um, 
train line covering a large expense of um, the island. Uh, another little random design over here. She said she was working on this one, but I thought it was quite cool. She said she wasn't quite sure whether it was a bus or whether it was a uh, whether it was a train. I think for my money, it's probably slightly more bussy. Um, but it's cool, isn't it? <laughs> it is cool. Uh, we've got this tra a train with a snake farm led using again trying to find ways of using the. Um, uh, or oh, all the bits and bobs that came in the Valentine's update. But look at that, she's got all the characters sitting on the benches, and it honestly really, really looks like um, these guys are riding around on their little bus. We've got the, um, the Halloween um, uh, pumpkins used as the wheels. We've got a little kind of float on the back. I mean, it almost looks a bit like one of those like um, football team celebrations. You know, when they kind of win something or win the Olympics or something, and they kind of come back and they're going to go through the town and they're all kind of celebrating and stuff. These guys don't look like they're celebrating. Most of them look like they're asleep. Um, but it look, I can see from your guys' reactions here, lots of uh, ratings kind of coming through, and you guys um, very much kind of liking uh, what we are seeing there. So Mockaby, who is in the channel as well today, here is your added gold for me, saying thank you for letting me feature you. And... Um, um, I'm sure there will be uh, more coming um, in the future. Lots of tens and tens um, flying, um, flying through there, and people really liking the characters being there. I th I'm sure that she must have, he or she, sorry, uh, must have set um, that up perfectly to make sure they were all in the right place for the live stream tonight. So, uh, <laughs> so thank you. Ahem. Joe, if you could keep your comments a bit uh, shorter, please. Thank you. There's no reason for them to be that long. Um, right. Is that it for the trains? Yes, I think we are done with the trains, which means it's time for us to take a quick break. Um, if you're still here at the end of the break, then I will dish out some um, bonus Addy Gold to all 106 of you, by the look of it. And uh, then we've got some competition results. We've got some Noiseland arcades to look at and some news about donuts. Back in a sec. Alrighty then, one last uh, train design before we head off. Um, this is Owens, who I believe is in the chat um, again today. Um, I will. Um, this was a, a different one. I think I talked about this, but I'm not sure I showed it. This was one that was actually on the um, on the squid port itself, which I thought was a nice idea of having a bit of variety. I don't think I showed this one. Apologies if I did, but I don't think I showed off this alternative um, train design to show the train uh, actually kind of on the on the squid port itself. You know, actually out on the harbour taking people around the various um, situations. I think it looks great on there. Um, I think possibly it could be used a little bit more um, effectively, like the train the section could actually kind of take you from one end um, to the other, like some some form of kind of kids ride or, so, or something like that. Um, 
but it was uh but I do think the idea in principle works really nicely and and he's used the um the rain sticks um restaurant here kind of like a station and it does look apart from the uh, the kind of signpost which he's kind of covered here with the balloons um it does look kind of um stationy um so it works it works nicely um it works nicely for me and I hope you like it as well now it looks like we have just hit 110 viewers which is absolutely fantastic I think that might be the biggest we have um, made it to on Simpsons tap tap so while we while we've got so many people here let me talk about donuts for a second then then we'll get into the um, the competition um, results now um, basically I'm gonna be completely open about this um, I love doing the Simpsons tapped out um, uh, uh, live streams I love doing the Doctor Who ones I love to I've, I've done quite a few on the few over the last week as well doing a whole all sorts of different games um, but I want to find ways of making um, I want to get I want to get the channel to grow I want it I want to get as many people kind of in here as possible I want to kind of help uh, you guys have a great experience and I hope you do appreciate Appreciate the work I put into kind of finding all these towns throughout the week and things like that. Um, but I do, I do want to make a little bit of money out of it as well to kind of support myself and Mrs. Pose, who is currently pregnant with little baby Pose, which is why you just watched a little advert and thank you for staying. Um, so um, again, in the spirit of being open about it, um, I um, want to encourage the stream to grow even further. So with that in mind, um, I have decided that. Um, as the um, the stream continues to grow, or as the show continues to grow, I'm going to start giving away donuts as part of the um, as part of the show. And just to show you that I'm not bluffing, here we are. I have already been out and got myself a couple of um, UK Google Play ten pound vouchers, which you'll be able to buy donuts with. I've also researched the um, the the iTunes version, and I can again I can send out ten pound versions there. And I've also checked out that it does seem I can send out American versions as well, and possibly other um, idea other ones um, as as other nationalities um, of of points as well. So they are they are real. They are here. You can see they um have not yet been scratched. They are ready to be given away. Um, but this is what I'm going to do. Is that I'm I'm going to say that when the stream reaches 150 people when the stream reaches 150 people for the first time which won't be today that's fine it won't be today it'll be sometime in the future when it reaches 150 i'm going to give out the, the the first the first one of them okay it doesn't have to be the google play one you know if you win it um then you can you can request the ipad one you can request the android one you know whatever suits you uh, when it reaches 150 i'm going to give out the first one so guys it's your job to spread the word it's your job to go out tell your friends that you know that you like tapped out to come along to tell uh you know various forums or sites you might be on you know give it a little give the show a little plug there i'll give out the first one the second one i'm going to give out when we reach 200 and we'll go up in kind of 50s and things like that but um you know these are not hacks these are completely genuine um gift cards it can be android it can be ipad i don't mind um but when the stream hits 150 um i'll be giving those out and we'll do it with the we'll do it with the addy gold system you guys could buy raffle tickets which means the more stuff you've seen the more chance it'll be you but hey one ticket could be enough if your number comes up and um, that that 10 pound voucher or that ten dollar voucher um, or, or European 10 whatever um, could be used so um, it is um, over to you people I will do my little bit to kind of promote things I will speak to the various websites I know Nathan I know Nathan Rushton here from is from topics I'm always trying to promote various other sites as well so you know it, it's over to you guys in uh, um, I'll, I'll do my bit to speak to the sites and try and get myself plugged there and I always try and plug them because I want you know, it needs to be a fair thing. I plug them, they plug me, etc., etc. Um, but if you guys could do your bit as well to try and tell your friends and share about the stream, then I will um, try and reward you guys by putting um, my money where my mouth is and uh, giving you some donuts. All right. Um, if anyone's got any questions about that, um, if anyone's got any questions about that, um, you can put it. You know, probably send me a private message about it, or speak to me, on, or I can start a thread about it on tappedout.co.uk or something like that. But we won't do it today. We won't do it today. But we'll start starting from next week. If we hit 150 next week, I'll give this out next week. If we don't hit 150 next week, it might be the week after. But it's over to it's all of us, our, our responsibility to, um, to 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 get it growing. All right. Now then, um, results. Now over on. Um, the tapped out topics website um, Nathan Russian who is um, with us today um, is responsible for a really cool little competition that he runs every so often um, called the big show off contest I'm sure you've heard of it and if you haven't you should have done you should have done because it's a it's a re really great website I've, I've showed it several times during my during my streams um, it came out of the the remnants of what was the old um, 
site that will not be named um, but um, it's a great great um, site with loads of uh, great posts and um, cool competitions now as well now basically this was the Valentine's Day show off um, you could enter your um, you could enter your um, design and then there were going to be three winners one design chosen by each of the judges oh sorry um uh, four designs uh, chosen by the four judges. Uh, the judges were, I'm sure I'm allowed to say them, it was Nathan and M and Mags and Spellcast with the four judges and all four of them chose a design which I'm going to feature um, now. They were all Valentine's Day um, based in some way and um, therefore um, they, we're going to be seeing lots of kind of love floating around um, floating around the, the room I'm sure um, if Nathan wants to say anything about this competition I don't know if he said anything already um, but if Nathan uh, wants to say anything about it then do feel free and I'll try and spot it in fact Nathan if you do want to say anything about it it might be better if you message it to me um, over on Skype because um, I'll probably be able to see it more um, over there so here we go so this was first of all this was Nathan's pick now this was actually a design that we have featured already because our first winner is Kay, congratulations! And I think to celebrate this, we need um, if I can get it going really fast. Winner, our first winner is Kay. Oh yeah! All right, and it was for her lovely love park. If you remember her love park, this is one of the things that inspired our train design before. If you remember, uh, this was this wonderful, wonderful design uh, with a maze going into the kind of the love fountain, into the love hearts. And uh, linked to the Madame Chow stuff. She said she spent she more. She said she spent more donuts on this than she'd ever spent on anything <laughs> before. And it shows, and it's come out brilliantly. And she loves it, and so do we. A well-deserving winner chosen um, by Nathan. I have shown this design before, so I'm not going to dwell on it um, too long. But it is a, a well, -des absolutely um, a well deserved winner uh, with just tons of creativity excellent uses of decoration and I think it manages it, it straddles that difficult difficult balance between um, being cutesy and lovey but not going over the top like I think it just about manages to be um, cute without being sickening if you know what I mean but at the same time it is romantic and we've got you know little touches like this little staircase kind of going up to the fountain there just work really really nicely the 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 the, the cupids being the cornerstones there's just little lovely little touches um, here and there the fountain at the back of the maze in case you get lost and need a little drink you know all that kind of stuff just put comes together to give a really really nice design so well done Kay again you are definitely one of our top designers that we have around at the moment here's um, 10 Addy Gold for me featuring you and I'm sure um, that Nathan will be putting up a winner's post on topics which will I'm sure will feature your design um, as well so where's Kay our, our first winner our second winner was chosen by um, the lovely M who is our wonderful uh, one of our wonderful moderators and she chose um, someone who I haven't featured before or even seen on my origin before which was a little lass I assume it's a lass called Jaleza. I don't know if that's like her first name and surname or whether it's just Jaleza. But I like I quite like saying it that way, so I'm just gonna keep saying it as if it is Jaleza, possibly with some sort of you know expanding hand of Jaleza. And uh, Jaleza's design again was a little love park idea, but this one was far more kind of refined and restrained. This one wasn't able to kind of take over um, the whole um, kind of space, but it's a far more kind of to, with apologies to Kay, kind of a more realistic love park. Um, so before I go too far, of course, I need to say that our second winner is Jaleza. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! And um, this was her design. It's kind of all linked to her kind of town hall idea. And basically the idea is that just for a month of the year when love is in the air, the park just outside the front of the town hall um, gets turned all lovey-dovey. And we get these uh, pink fountains, we get the Cupid, we get the, the benches are replaced with the pink... Um, benches uh, we've got the the kind of the, the the apples have been replaced with the love apples but do you know what I mean by it, by, by it being realistic like you can see that actually being there it's that the design
designers have taken the park that was already there, the frontage of the town hall, which is already there, and just adjusted it. You know, in the same way that people put up the Christmas decorations, you know, once a year, or they uh, do something a bit Eastery, or you know, Fourth of July, or whatever it is. But this is, I think, they've done a similar thing here. They've taken a, a park which is there the rest of the year as well, and just given it a little kind of a, a love makeover, um, which is uh, which is um, which I think works really really nicely, and it's great. Now I don't think from what looking at the chat that Jalaza is here with us today, but um, I'm sure Nathan will pass on um, our congratulations to her. I think it does extend slightly over here to this side as well, into kind of like a, a separate park zone where we've got the um, the pagoda type um, creations where you can go, kind of go and have a little romantic moment. Um, but mainly I think it's this beautiful little frontage um, to the town hall there, which is um, fan. Fantastic. Right, now boys and girls, at the end of the stream I am going to be featuring one of your um, designs as I normally do. So we're just going to take a little break from um, these winners. We've got two more winners to show you, um, but we need to work out who it is we're going to be showing at the end of the stream. So as usual, I am going to be opening the raffle um, in just a second. You enter the raffle by spending Addy Gold. You guys have been building up Addy Gold by watching me throughout the week. I've been on quite a lot this week playing Battlefield and Fallout and Tiny Death Star and um, Rock Band. A lot for those of you that joined me last night, we had a little kind of party till about 11 p.m. kind of rocking around on the plastic guitars and things like that, which was awesome. Um, so you've been building up your Addy Gold, so you might want to check how much you have got. Um, one Addy Gold costs one ticket, or let's put it around the other way, one ticket costs one Addy Gold. Um, we, you can buy as many tickets as you want, up to the amount of Addy Gold that you have. All the tickets get put in a big jumbly thing that's going to be appearing down there. We pick one, and at the end of it, if your one comes up, then I will go and visit your town at the end of the stream. If um, I am going to pick you, then you need space on your origin to add me, and you need to add me straight away. Um, and you also need to tell me exactly what your um, uh, origin is so I know how to accept the right person. If you haven't won, please don't add me um, as you're just going to get declined and you will annoy me a little bit. And if you annoy me a little bit, if you give me a good design later, then I'm still not going to show you, mainly out of spite. Okay, so please don't add me um, otherwise. Um, so this is our little raffle. If you want to enter the raffle, then you just need to type exclamation mark raffle ticket, or one word, exclamation mark raffle ticket, space. And then the number of tickets you want. So let's say you've got 30 Addy Gold and you want to spend 15 of that on your tickets. You just type raffle to exclamation mark raffle ticket space 15 and you, you will get that amount of tickets. Um, the bot is not going to reply to you today because we had so, I had some problems the other day um, that the uh, in the Doctor Who Legacy uh, stream, which was which went fantastic. I do Doctor Who Legacy every Thursday, and we had over a thousand people. But as you can imagine, when people were entering the raffles, the bot actually was replying with a huge amount of names. So I've turned it off. It's not going to reply to you as long as you typed it correctly. Um, it's going to work. So the raffle is open now. The raffle is now open. So exclamation mark, raffle ticket, space, and then the number of tickets um, that you want. All right, boys and girls, you've probably got about two minutes or so to enter this competition um, if you want to. <laughs> so I'm just watching my bot commands as it's trying to deal with the amount of information that has just been thrown at it. <laughs> Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Looks like we've got 107 people in the show today. Good e good afternoon, good evening, and good wherever you are and whenever you are. My name is The Adipose. We're playing Simpsons Tapped Out. Today is Trains and it is Games. Uh, we're in the middle of showing off the winner of the Valentine's Day big show-off um, competition over on Tapped Out Topics. Um, and then afterwards we're going to be having a look at a couple of game designs. Hopefully we'll get time. And then I'm going to be showing off one of your designs in the last five minutes of the show. As usual, I will be playing something else starting at 10 o'clock um haven't quite decided yet what it is um we'll be open to suggestions might do some speedrunners if bishy is around could do some more rock band could um shoot stuff on battlefield we could grab something else on ipad or, who knows well I'll, I'll take suggestions um towards the end oh, and a new follow thank you very much oh yes i forgot to say i forgot to say and this is important if you haven't followed the channel the bot won't pick you 
Okay, so even if you bought a raffle ticket, if you haven't pressed that follow button, the bot is automatically programmed to ignore your request. So because I've said that a bit late, I'll now give another minute. Um, you don't need to buy your raffle tickets again. The track tickets have been bought, but you must have pressed that follow button. Otherwise, it will not count. So just have a look beyond the uh, below the stream. There should be a button that says you know follow. Just make sure that's pressed. It doesn't cost you anything. All it will do is mean that whenever I'm doing a stream, it sends you a little email saying the stream is is now open. So. Um, I'll give you I'll give an extra minute for the raffle for that reason. And while I'm doing so, let's have a look at our third winner of the Valentine's Day um, show off, which is another one of our tapped out favourites, um, which we have shown before, but a lovely, lovely chap right, is three, two, one. It's Corky! Oh, yeah! Well done, Corky. You have been chosen by Mags as her winner, and she chose um, your Howard's Flowers, which I have written a note to myself is slightly on the right, and now I can't find it. Ah, oh, yes, here it is, Howard's Flowers. A beautiful selection of little love heart trees and red fountains, and a beautiful little shop here straight out of the 1920s complete with love train and a little Christmas decoration and of course a reindeer because what says what says love more than a reindeer often I'm saying that I love my wife and a little reindeer just pops into my head and look here it is and angels angels of love serenading you but this a wonderful um, little um, way of, I think it's quite cute, combining Christmas and Valentine's, and actually I, th I think the Christmas stuff works, you know, we've got the elf house in there, we've got the angels in there, we've got the reindeer in there, but it works, I think it actually works, um, it's it's ridiculously cheesy of course, but it's taste, it's, tasteful is probably the wrong word, it's not tasteful, it's Valentine's, but it is um, stylistically put together, the symmetry um, in there um, comes out really, really well, it's nicely organised, um, it looks kind of, um, the, the archways give it kind of a feeling of kind of um, that this is a real park that you could kind of walk through with entrance ways and things like that it combines onto the shop really really well even just little touches like here you know when you can drive in you can drive in and park your car while you're going to the flowers and spend a bit of time in the in the kind of love garden like that um, so I think it just w works um, really really well um, as, as, as a design and another well deserved winner thank you very much Mags for um, picking uh, this design as your as our winner so we have one more um, uh, winner left from the Valentine's Day show off, and Corky is in the chat. So Corky, well done, mate. And here is your bonus Addy Gold for being featured on the Adipose TV City Design Live show. The raffle has now been going on long enough, so I am going to close that. Closed. It is closed. You can no longer buy the ticket. No, no, no. Do not try. The ticket has been been chosen. Number of tickets uh, sold. We had 1,628 tickets sold. Um, the Doctor Who Legacy stream the other day, uh, we had 3,800 tickets sold. So, come on, tapped outers. You know you need to get more people into the stream, okay? Just because we know you, know you need to get more people into the stream. I'm just saying that. That was, that was weird. Sorry, I won't do that again. But I'm just saying you need to get people here. Get people here. We can't have you guys beating the Hoovians. You just can't let it happen. You can't let it happen. You know what you did. Okay, so uh, we need to start the tombola. Here are all the people that have picked, uh, who have bought tickets today. Um, obviously, the more tickets that you have bought, the more often your name is probably going to appear up on the screen. Uh, I'm just going to let that run for a little bit, so hopefully you guys get an opportunity to see your name on the uh, on the uh, on the screen if you have bought a ticket. And while that's running, why don't we show um, our last winner? Now, this was the winner that was chosen by Spellcaster, um, who is one of our another one of our lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, mods uh, here, very, very uh, on a lot of my stream, and, and uh, make make sure you guys know what's what and answers your questions. Very, very patient and mature chap. Thank you so much. Now he has chosen as his winner um, the beautifully named O Celeb Helen. Oh yeah. O Celeb Helen. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. So O Celeb Helen. O Celeb. Sebhelen. Oh, Sebhelen. Um, and I let me see if Oh, Sebhelen is here with us today.
today. No, it doesn't look like Oslebhen is here with us today, but nevertheless, what a city. What a city. Now, I, ha I have to show you this before I actually show you the the, uh, the winning design itself. There was something so cool. Look at it. Look at this. Look at this. This is Burns Manor. Yeah, this is Burns Manor. And underneath Burns Manor, we have some dollar signs made of hedges and the word excellent. Uh, which is absolutely fantastic and and then if we come down here now I love this little design look at this pits of hedges and then towers of hedges but well, you have to let you have to let your eyes kind of adjust to it slightly but you know we've got hedges that go down into this huge pit with a little I don't know love hedge down there then the opposite is the case on the other side it kind of goes back up and whoa I've just put myself out of focus does that work I didn't know that I actually did that I have an autofocus. Who knew? Um, but how cool is that? Little towers of hedges and little pits of hedges. But what we are here to see is the Love Howard's. What are we here to see? Love Park. Love Park with Howard's flowers, which I have written is on the left middle. Ah, yeah. Ah, yes. What a beautiful little shop, says I. Um, completely over the top, of course, but it has to be with Howard's flowers. We can see the shop itself is pink and, and well positioned with a little walkway towards it, and then the archways will let you go over and see the, um, uh, the, the items for sale. The little benches there surrounded with the, the Valentine's Day um, cupids and the, uh, the red... Um, the red fountains, the pagoda there. I mean, it's nicely divided between the left-hand side and the right-hand side. It's just a really, really nicely well put together design. It's one of those things I'll kind of look at and go, right, I need to put all these bits together and make something good out of it. And I'll suck at it. But actually, um, what Oseb Helen has put together here um, is something really, really um, quite um quite lovely so well done um to all four of our valentine's day big show off winners um keep a lookout on tapped out topics um for their next competition and um well done to all four of our winners uh which were to recap k it was jaleza it was corky and it was oseb Len. oh yeah oh hell yeah now we need to pick our winner from our little raffle. Hopefully you've had a chance to see your name come flying past. We need to pick our winner, ladies and gentlemen. So, the person who will have their town featured in about 10 minutes, a little bit less than, is today... Oh, yeah! It's Connor13! Congratulations, Connor13. You will be featured in our stream. You need to tell me um, what your uh, ticket 1195. Um, you need to tell me exactly what your origin is, and we will go and have a look at your. Um, uh, town in just a minute. Now, of course, this live stream today was not just trains, it was also games, which we, means we're going to go and have a little look at um, the uh, Noiseland Arcade. I've got a few designs I would like to show you very, very quickly because we are starting to run out of time. Now, the Noiseland Arcade is its kind of a grey building, but it's slightly bigger than the other buildings around it. It doesn't look like it, and you can just stick it in a nice little round of... Um, you can just stick it in a nice little, um, what's the phrase? Um, uh, you can just stick it in a, a, a line of shops, and it'll look okay. But because it's slightly bigger, it often um, it often needs a slightly um, different uh, design to kind of make it look its best. Now, this is Land of Comedy's design. Now, he lots of people knew something similar to this and took the Broken Dodger, which, if you remember, it came out in the same update. The Noiseland Arcade and this Broken Dodger came out together, and lots of people said, hey, let's put the two things together um, and make some sort of kind of um, Noiseland Arcade with games inside with some sort of little mini fairground outside, and lots of the designs I saw on all of the different sites I went to, the Tapped Out Forum, that's TSTO Forum, um, the official EA forum I went to have a look at as well um, showed this idea of dodgems and it just works really really um, nicely um, t t together. Uh, it has this cool uh, car park at the back. You know, we've got the, the optional little accessories, such as the newspaper and the uh, the phone box there again. But just putting the dodgems out the back, little traffic cones showing a kind of course, a little bit of humour with the hail ant sign sticking out for no reason. It's just a really cool little way of making the design um, 
uh, making the design kind of show up. People seem to be saying about Connor winning tonight. Well, he bought the most tickets, and so. Um, but then that's how it works, you know. If you watch enough stuff, um, you're going to have the most tickets, which means you're more likely to win. It doesn't always work that way, um, but um, you know, he, if the the odds were definitely in his favour, so congratulations to him. Um, I still haven't seen um, Connor speak. What origin? What origin am I looking for? Um, mods, if you if you know what origin I'm looking for, if one of you could help me out, that um, that would be great as well. I'm not sure what um, uh, I'm not sure what origin I'm looking for yet. Now let me go and show you um, another design. Now this was one I found over on the official EA forums. So let me just bring you across to my desktop, people. Here we are. Um, I haven't met this person. It was actually quite an old post. This is Yukon Girl 123. So if, if by some sort of massive fluke Yukon Girl happens to be here, um, then congratulations. Um, but um, basically, um, she took this idea of Dodgems again, but she's actually used the graffiti walls, the orange walls, and she actually put the um, the the all the graffiti ones together and whilst normally I would go oh my god I can't believe you used the graffiti walls I think they actually look really good um, they actually work really really nicely when you put it together with the dodgems because the whole thing is supposed to be because it's kind of like youth based street based kind of movement um, so I think it looks great I think I might even nick that idea if I ever do a dodgems thing together I might use the orange walls because I've used the orange walls in my prison but the graffiti ones always kind of look a bit weird really but here I think they work really really um, well so um, I think that's another bit of inspiration um, that we can have um, to get that. So Connor, you need to add me on Origin as a matter of urgency. You've got about um, you've got about um, two minutes to get it on there. Um, and there it is. I think that's a really, really nice little um, design. Again, I hope you um, I hope this is kind of inspiring you um, to uh, improve your little. Uh, to improve your designs, uh, well, not improve your designs. That that, thing, that sounds like a criticism. I apologise, but giving you some ideas of things that you can incorporate um, into um, your designs. Oh!